Hi, Honest Smoking Elk, and today we're cooking a pork leg. We're gonna get some crispy crackling and we're gonna serve it with a lovely smoky apple sauce. So today I want to show you how we cook a pork leg. I'm going to be cooking it on the Kamado Joe Classic, but I want to show you how to cook a pork leg, but also to achieve that lovely crispy crackling that we all love. I mean, let's face it, the crackling is normally the star of the show. So I've got a pork leg joint here, and as you can see, we've got the skin has been scored on this. So all we're going to do with this is we want to get this nice and dry. So the secret to crispy crackling is always, always start with dry skin. So we take some kitchen roll, and we just rub the kitchen roll all along this skin, making sure that we get in those slices that we've got there, in those incisions, get this as dry as you possibly can, because the drier it is to start with, the more chance you've got of achieving that lovely crispy crackling. Now, the next thing you need is salt, plenty of salt. Now, this is really gonna help, obviously, make it nice and dry. We need dry skin for the crispy crackling, but also salt on pork, on crackling, is 100% needed. I mean, you've got to have salty crackling, otherwise, what is the point of having crackling? So we're just gonna rub Plenty of salt over there, and again, we want to make sure that we get this in all these incisions here. So don't be shy with the salt. I mean, crackling loves a bit of salt. And we're just going to sprinkle it over, again, making sure we rub it into those incisions, like so. And again, I'm going to keep this one nice and simple now. You can play around with some different flavours. I mean, you can use paprika, uh, fennel seeds. I mean, pork loves fennel, so do experiment with your flavours, but for this one I'm going to keep it nice and simple and we're just going with salt and pepper. I just want to show you how simple it can be to achieve that beautiful crackling. So that's the salt, we're going to do the same with the pepper, just sprinkle this all over. Um, measurement wise, I don't know, you know, it might be half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon, probably about a teaspoon, but just give it a good coating to your flavour really. I mean if you're a big fan of pepper, just chuck a load of pepper on there, I love pepper. So, that is pretty much it. That is the prep done for our pork joint. I'm gonna be cooking this at about 170, 180 Celsius in my Kamado Joe Classic 3. I've got the slow roller in place, so I've got a chunk of apple in there for the smoke. Remember, I'm gonna make a nice smoky apple sauce. So once this goes in, we're gonna take this to an internal temperature of about 60 degrees Celsius, and I'm gonna know when it hits 60 degrees because I'm gonna use my Thermopen dot. Now this thing is extremely handy, whether you're cooking on a barbecue or you're cooking in an oven, because all you do is if you turn this on, you put your temperature probe into the meat and that's going to tell us we can set an alarm on there for 60 degrees Celsius and this is going to beep once it hits 60. And as soon as this hits 60, we're then going to crank the temperature up a little bit. We're going to take the slow roller out or heat deflectors if you're using them. We're going to flip it over and we're going to crisp up that skin. But also while that's in there and while it's coming up to temperature, while we've got the apple smoke rolling, we're going to chop up some apples. We're going to stick those in there for about half an hour just to get a bit of smoke on those apples. And then once this comes out and we start resting it, we're going to make a lovely smoky apple sauce. So without further ado, let's just get this into the barbecue and introduce it to some smoke. pork is done, as you see, it hits just over 60 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to rest that now, and we're going to get it back on shortly to crisp up the skin to get that lovely crispy crackling. But while that's resting, I'm going to knock up the apple sauce. We've got these apples here that we put a touch of apple smoke onto. They're feeling nice and soft. So I'm going to dice those up. We're going to put them in the saucepan with about 50 grams of butter, about 50 grams of sugar, and we're just going to let that simmer down until they're nice and soft, almost like a puree type of consistency. And then we're going to take the deflector out of the slow roller, we're gonna get this back on, get that skin nice and crispy, get that beautiful crackling. So let's crack on, make the sauce, get the crackling. I cannot wait.
we go. As you've seen, we've put that over the direct heat to get that lovely crispy skin on there. We've got the crackling that we're after. You can slide your knife along there. You can hear that. You can hear it tap. But we're going to slice in and we're going to see how juicy this pork is. Remember, I've cooked this. Pork is safe to eat and I recommend cooking it to 63 degrees because it remains nice and tender and juicy. When you don't cook it to temperature and you cook it to time, nine times out of 10, you're going to overcook it. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tasteless. It's going to be chewy. That's not the sort of pork we want to eat. So. We're going to slice into this. I've made this lovely smoky apple sauce. Without further ado, I can't wait anymore. I need to just see how we've done. So let's slice in. Ah, oh, you can hear that crackling straight away. Just slice through there. And we have nailed it. You can see there we've got lovely juicy pork. That is exactly how I want to eat my pork. A load of juice coming out of that. Let's take a strip off with this crackling here and just break through that crackling like so. And we need to have a little taste, don't we? So some of the crackling, some of that apple sauce. So let's just break a bit of the crackling off, take a bit of the pork. Let's go in with a touch of this apple sauce, all in the same bite, of course, because we want to see just how good this is going to be. That is an absolute winner. So that's my pork with crispy crackling, smoky apple sauce. I do hope you'll give it a go and I'll see you again soon.